Welcome Matterporters. This video is all about Matterport access. So what we're gonna be talking about today is this guy right here. Let's go ahead and unbox it. This is what you're gonna get. And when you open it up, you're gonna have a few things inside. You've got the motor mount, the arm clamp, a remote control, a 3 8 to quarter inch tripod adapter, and a USB charging cable, as well as the quick start guide. Here is your motor mount. In my case, my thread adapter is right here in the bottom. Let me take this out. There it is. This is what the 3 8 to quarter inch thread adapter looks like. And if it's not in the bottom of your motor mount, it's gonna be in a little Ziploc bag right in your case. Because I'm using the bundled tripod, I actually don't need this thread adapter. However, if you are using a different tripod with a quarter inch 20 thread, this adapter is gonna come in very handy. Now, before I go ahead and set this up, let's check out the tripod. This is the tripod bundled with your Matterport Access if you did go ahead and choose the bundle package with the tripod. Again, you can definitely use your own tripod if you want, but this is the one that is currently bundled with Matterport Access. No different than most tripods out there, the legs just expand out like this, and you have three quick release clamps that allow you to extend the legs. I'll go ahead and unclamp all of those, extend the legs all the way, and clamp them shut. I'll do that to all three legs. Right now, the three legs are fully extended, but the center post is not extended all the way, which we definitely want to do that. At this height, the tripod is about 37 inches, and that is well below what we recommend. I'll go ahead and loosen the center post just by twisting this center post right here. And also, this knob needs to be loose. So it's two things, this knob as well as the center post need to be loosened up. The center post comes up, you can retighten it uh, with this knob right here, as well as securing it in place with this center post right there. So right now my tripod's base is at about 45 inches, which is great. With the motor mount, I'm gonna go ahead and thread this on right now. I find that it's a lot easier to thread the motor mount on before attaching the clamp and camera. So now I'll go ahead and take my clamp out. Before attaching this to the motor mount, I'm gonna go ahead and attach my phone to the clamp. My phone is an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a case on it, so it is pretty wide. I need to go a little bit more. Before I go ahead and clamp this shut on my phone, tightening it into place, I wanna make sure that my lens is properly aligned with the center of this horizontal pivot point. If you don't know which lens on your camera is the ultra wide angle lens, or if you don't have an ultra wide angle lens, it's just the normal lens that's gonna be used by capture. But if you do have an ultra wide angle lens, that's the lens that capture is gonna be used. Again, if you're not sure which one of your lenses is the ultra wide angle lens, you can go ahead, turn on capture, start a scan so that you can see what's going on through the lens and just use your finger to cover each one of the lens until you find the one that's covered up. Pro tip, go ahead and clean the lens with a lens cloth after you've done that. In my case, the ultra wide angle lens is this one right here. So I just need to make sure that this lens and the center of this pivot point are aligned. I just need to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect but as close as possible is definitely recommended. Now I've got the lens aligned with the horizontal pivot point and I can go ahead and place the clamp into this unit here. You'll notice that there is a white arrow on the top of the motor mount and a ruler on the base of your clamp. And depending on your phone and whether you're using a case or not, that will determine what ruler marking is gonna line up with the arrow. In order to find out, I'm looking to align the ultra wide angle lens with the center of the motor mount. On this side, I have a dark gray arrow here. I also have this knob right there. And I'm basically gonna try and eyeball this to see that they are pretty close. So right there, it looks pretty good. For anybody who wants to get this extremely precise, I do have some tips on how to do that and I'll get to that at the very, very end of the video. Now with the phone connected to the arm clamp that is connected to the motor mount that is connected to my tripod, I've got my lens height at 54 and a half inches, which is just short of the recommended 55 inches. That is perfectly fine. No one will ever notice that half inch difference. So this little compact tripod really does do a great job at setting your camera lens at an appropriate height 
for capturing your digital twin for many, many different use cases. So now I have properly aligned the ultra wide angle lens with the horizontal and vertical axes, and I can go ahead and turn it on. Right here in the front are four little LED lights that give me a rough estimate of what the battery level is for Matterport Access. Now it is simply a matter of turning on my phone and accessing Matterport Capture. Press the plus sign down here in the bottom to create a new model. Now my phone automatically recognized Matterport Access, so you can see down here in the bottom in the camera button, it says iPhone Plus Access. In order to use the remote control, it's just a long press on the capture button in the middle. Hold that down, and after about a second, you'll see the blue light come on. And now you can see that the camera button says iPhone Plus Access Plus Remote, and I know that all the devices are talking to one another. You can also see in the top left corner that it says Access at 86% battery, and the remote is at 33% percent battery. This remote does use a very simple watch battery. It's easy enough to just take the bottom right off and access the battery that way. Now I'm basically ready to scan. That's all there is to it. So I'll go ahead and press the remote button. And initially it'll say get started. It's just the first time that I'm using this with this model. So I'll just hit get started. And now because I don't have this tilted down just a little bit as I should, it's giving me this warning at the bottom. And all that means is I need to uh, loosen up this pivot point that we talked about before, move this down about 15 degrees. And as long as this white dot is pretty much in the middle of that circle, it doesn't have to be perfectly centered. You can go ahead and scan. Press the remote button a second time to begin scanning. As you can see, setting up your iPhone with Matterport Access is very, very simple, and it's really no different with your Android device. As long as you connect Matterport Access through the Capture app on your Android device, you won't be required to enter a password. However, some Android devices, if you don't do that, if you connect through the Bluetooth settings in your Android device, you will be required to insert a password, and that is eight zeros. So it's just the number zero eight times in a row. Since you have this remote control, you can definitely go ahead and hide behind a corner when Matterport Access is rotating, or you can go ahead and walk around the screen side of your phone. As with any other capture devices, however, anytime you are capturing, whether you're hiding around a corner or walking around the backside of the camera, look out for yourself in reflections. If you can see the camera, the camera can see you. But basically, that's really about it. Scanning with Matterport Access is really no different than scanning with any other device. 360s, of course, capture the entire spherical image at once. This is more like the Matterport Pro 2 in that it does take several images to complete the full 360 degree sphere. I went ahead and used Matterport Access to capture this property, so let's go ahead and check out what that looks like. You can see in that clip just how easy it is to capture using your smartphone when you are using Matterport Access. So much more easy and consistent than if you just use your smartphone alone. Let's go ahead and check out that model that I captured. You can see as I move around, the image quality is really quite good. I don't see nearly as many of the stitching artifacts, and that's thanks to the consistency of the rotation that Matterport Access provides. I can also look back at the dollhouse and see that this looks like a great dollhouse and really a great model altogether. So that's really it. That is Matterport Access. You can see how easy it is to set up and align your phone with the device itself as well as the benefits that using Matterport Access provides you. For anybody using smartphone capture, this is a great companion device. It truly allows you to scan a lot faster, a lot more precise, and with a lot less fatigue than you would without using it at all. Not only that, the image quality of your digital twin is gonna be really stunning because after all, you are using your phone's camera. If you do have any more questions about Matterport Access, check out our FAQ at support.matterport.com. So if you've stuck with me this far, you are interested in calibrating your phone's lens very precisely with Matterport Access. And this is how I went ahead and did that. Normally, your phone is gonna be in Matterport Access like this. And what I wanna do is flip the phone over, but I don't want to 
rotated like this. What I wanna do is flip it so that the screen is like that. And now what I can actually go ahead and do is open up the camera app. All right, so this is the idea. I'm using the wide angle lens because that is the lens that's gonna be used when I'm in capture. If you don't have a wide angle lens, that's fine. Just use the regular lens because in capture, because you don't have a wide angle lens, that's the lens that's gonna be used. So I wanna take a picture of this. I'll go ahead and snap a shot right there. Go ahead and take this now into something like Photoshop. All right, so I've got my image open in Photoshop and very, very simply, I'm going to go into the rulers here and grab a guide and it's just gonna snap right into the center of that. And I can see that perfectly centered with this lens is going to be whatever this marking is below the two. So I know that this is exactly where I need to align it which is great. I can take my phone out now and very easily line this up right there and just tighten it down. And there you go. I really hope that will help you sleep better at night.